So guys, it's really no big surprise that uh, lots of us, lots of us in the ham radio world are uh, disappointed and sad that uh, Dayton isn't happening. So I thought to myself, wow, you know what? I'm gonna miss out and everybody else is gonna miss out on all the cool new stuff that's going on at Dayton. So because none of us are going to Dayton this year, I'm proposing something a little bit different, a little bit fun, creative. I'm calling this Digital Dayton. And because I don't wanna be the only guy on this crazy train, I'm inviting all the other ham radio YouTube creators to join me in Digital Dayton. Here's how it works. Get in touch with us, send us your new stuff, the stuff you were going to announce at Dayton. Um, you could send prototypes that we could return. You could send over whatever you want. We'll, uh, we'll set up our reviews. We'll do, uh, we'll do the demos. And in my case, at least, I would like to interview you guys and let you guys do your little sales pitch just like you would do if we were standing there at Dayton. So what do you say? I don't see a downside in this. Yeah, it's a little bit on the crazy train side, but hey, you know what? We're all sitting at home doing nothing right now. Nobody's going to Dayton. There's no ham fest anywhere on the near horizon. So why not let's have fun with this anyway guys here's the first installment of digital date hey guys i know it's a lot of fun to be the first to bring you guys the next big thing in ham radio but frankly a lot of uh, a lot of what comes out in ham radio is not the next big thing it's a lot of little things and it's the little things that actually make the big difference because they're incremental little changes. And we'll take, uh, take the Alex loop, magnetic loop antenna, for example. Over the years, Alex has developed a few other things. The Alex mic, which I absolutely love, and that has replaced my, uh, my Elecraft KX3 mic. This is the next little thing from Alex that is going to make uh, not a not a huge revolutionary difference but this is going to make definitely a uh, small functional difference which add up all the little small functional things and it adds up to the big thing anyway this is called the Alex tune and if you own or want to own or you're looking at a magnetic loop antenna you want to stay tuned and listen about this one this time on k6 uda radio so this product is not a miracle it's not a revolution in ham radio but if you use a magnetic loop antenna, this could make getting around the bands and tuning the thing up a lot easier and a lot quicker for you. This is a new product from uh, Alex Loop from Alex PY1AHD, and it's called the Alex Tune. The Alex Tune is a very simple clamp on device. Uh, that gives a light emitting diode or an LED indication of a perfect or near perfect tune on your magnetic loop antenna. This is a very small, very lightweight little accessory for whatever magnetic loop antenna you have. And like I said, what it does is it gives you an LED indication of a perfect tune under power. So what you do is attach the Alex tune uh, to the PL259 on the side of your uh, Alex loop or other magnetic loop antenna. Place your transceiver in transmit mode in CW, AM, or FM and move the tuning knob on the loop antenna. Once the LED light turns on, 
you have uh, the lowest SWR your radio is capable of, considering the fact that I've laid the loop antenna down on a table. Attaching the Alex tune to your magnetic loop antenna is very, very simple. No tools, and it only takes a second. It has the uh, nice little clamp there that's about the size of a PL259 housing. Simply take the Alex tune, press it onto the PL259 housing on the side of your mag loop, and uh, begin tuning. That's it. So at $50 US, it's not the cheapest toy in the, uh, in the barn. It does a good job. And, and if this is something that interests you, yeah, I would say you want to look at it a little bit harder. And here's why. When you're playing with that mag loop, it is generally, it's a kind of a pain in the ass to tune. It is super, super sensitive. The little dial on those mag loops are tiny little minute uh, adjustments and they make a huge adjustment. So it makes it very easy to get a visual indication of when you are tuned up on this thing. And while you're operating it, if you leave this clamped on while you're operating, if, you, if your radio comes out of tune and you're busy doing other things, logging, uh, making QSOs, and you're not really paying attention to the SWR meter on your radio, if you give a quick glance up at your antenna and the light is off when you're transmitting, you might then want to take a closer look at the radio to make sure that it's still on frequency or that something else hasn't happened. And that's where I see this as a real benefit. So guys, one of the, uh, one of the wonderful things about Dayton uh, that I hear is the food. Simply uh, some of the best kind of carnival barker food there is. And this time I'm trying the, uh, the enchiladas from the uh, enchilada shop. <laughs> I need to have a little bit of extra kick, so this time I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, Dave's Ghost Pepper sauce on this. It's just to give it, whoa, a little tiny bit of a kick. You don't want to use too much of this stuff because it's pretty freaking wicked. I'll put a little bit of the ghost pepper sauce and then I'm gonna put a little bit of regular salsa on here. So we'll give this a try. Mmm, that's good, good flavor. Ooh, <clears throat> it's got some heat. Definitely got some heat from the Dave's ghost pepper sauce there. Um, really good. I'll tell you what, here's, here's kind of a fun idea. Seeing as that I've never been to Dayton before, and I was going to go. Um, those of you that have been to, uh, been to the Dayton Hamvention before, and that uh, appreciate the wonderful food that the Xenia... Ooh, my mouth is, my mouth is hot, and, and it's starting to kind of swelter and sweat. Mmm, good stuff. Anyway, those of you that have been to Dayton and understand, you know, what good food there is there, leave a comment below. Let me know, uh, let me know what your favorite Dayton Hamvention food is. And I'll try to recreate that recipe here on the show. Mm. Good stuff. Here we go. Another big hunk of uh, Dave's ghost pepper sauce here. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. That definitely kicks it up about six or seven notches. Mm. Very, very good. And yeah, you know what? If you're laughing at me, who cares? I'm laughing at myself. Come on, guys. I mean... 
we're all stuck in the house here. Everybody's on lockdown. That was good. That was a good enchilada. Thank you to the uh, Xenia enchilada house. <laughs> so my friends, as part of Digital Dayton, uh, I did want to bring you guys that raw experience. And part of the experience is we get to meet the developers of all these products. And so today I have Alex, the inventor of the portable magnetic loop and the owner of Alex Loop. Alex, how you doing? How are you? Good to hear you. Huh? Good yes, to see you. Yes, very good to hear you, Bob. You were, you were on your cave in California. I am here on my home in Rio de Janeiro. That's uh, with awesome. The Okay. Unbelievable. Isn't that great? <laughs> so Alex, um, yeah. first of all, thank you for sending me the Alex tune. Um, great. I've, I've been using it. I've been trying it out a little bit and it, it does work. I would say that this is an evolution, not a big revolution in anything. Um, is, is this the end of the line, or do you have more? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have, I have uh, here the the same Alex Stone. The only thing that you need to do is to take your your Alex loop or any other any other uh, portable magnetic loop antenna. They use the same design that the Alex loop that have PL two five nine connectors, and you have this clip and clip on here. And we have the tuning point, you have the brightest, the brightest that. It's very good because you can very quickly pass to the, when you have reached the tuning point, it will always blink. No matter how, how fast you turn the button, it will always blink on the right point, you know? So it's very useful. This is the Alex tune. And I have a new thing to show at my virtual booth, you know? It's the... <laughs> the new Alex loop with the built-in Alex stone. Oh, a, wow. Very, very nice. And you know? am I the first one to see this? Yeah, yeah. It's very new. It's very oh. new. The, the, the Alex loop with the built-in Alex stone. So the great advantage of the Alex stone is that you, you've done, you don't need to buy a new one if you have an Alex stone. It's only you have something like less than $50, $50, you can buy this and upgrade upgrade your standard Alex loop for this, this new model. So it's a very, very small money to upgrade a product, you know, you know in the electronic field. This is the Alex for a, any other antenna, the, the earlier model, and here is the built-in. And uh, uh, they, you can find it at uh, DX Engineering and HRO. Uh, DX Engineering, HRO, and Gigapart. They have the Alex Stone, they have the Alex Loop, they have the Alex Mic. Uh, you know, the Alex Mic, you know. Yes. With the microphone. I, I have, love uh, the Alex Mic, my favorite KX3 microphone. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much, Bob. Uh, you, can, you can give a lot of of audio here is something like three watts. So you, you, you take 250 watts to, to, uh, to amplify to three watts. You have the loudspeaker. The microphone is exactly the same as the KX2, KX3. No difference. And uh, that's it, you know. And, uh, you know, this is my Lanham product. I have started. I am a, and it's a very a, a curiosity to all the, 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 the viewers that I am a lawyer, you know, man. I was wow. graduate a lawyer, but I love electronics since a little boy. <laughs> and I started my experience when I was 10 years old. And my room is the same. And then my room is the same thing, and my pleasure is ham radio and outdoor operation. That is awesome. Yeah. Very, very, very nice. Alex, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you for like showing us all the new toys you got. And uh and Thank you for being the very first uh, vendor here on uh, Digital Dayton.
<laughs> Thank you very much for the first one on digital data opportunity. Only, only a man with a beautiful mind like you can imagine something like this. <laughs> <laughs> Some people would say it's crazy. It's crazy, but it's funny and great. <laughs> great. Alex, thank you again. And we'll, oh, my uh, pleasure. And we'll oh, see you Oh, my pleasure. Soon. And my 73 is to all. And I hope to see you again a day to next year. Yes, yes. Okay. Definitely. So how did you like the first installment of Digital Dayton? Let me know in the comments below. And again, if you're, a, uh, if you're another creator and you want to get in on the whole Digital Dayton experience, um, just get a hold of me. You guys know how. If uh, you're a manufacturer, vendor, artisan, whatever, again, the email down here, get a hold of me, we'll make it happen. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got this time. Uh, again, be sure and hit the uh, subscribe button and the little bell notification right next to it so you get notified when I'm making new videos. Be sure and check out my Patreon and my PayPal links Consider supporting the show, and I will see you guys next time. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3!